Objective 9.2. Explain how communities can be affected by abiotic and biotic factors, including temperature, light, water and pollutants, and competition and predation. Now, biotic and abiotic factors will affect population sizes and distribution of species within ecosystems. Biotic are living factors, things like predation, competition from other organisms, and abiotic are these non-living factors, things like temperature, water, light intensity, and pollutants. If we look at the abiotic factors first, temperature, well, different organisms are adapted to living in different temperatures. A long-term change in temperature in an ecosystem can affect the distribution of a species. For example, moose are moving further north due to warming temperatures. Water, drought or flooding can drastically reduce population size. Light intensity, if you've got large trees, they change the amount of light intensity that is at ground level. This will affect the distribution of the plant species growing at that level. And pollutants, human activities release pollutants, for example, the increase in plastics in the ocean, and this has affected fish populations. In terms of the biotic factors, competition, organisms compete with other species as well as members of their own species, and this competition will affect both the population size and the distribution of species. And predation, well, there is a really subtle relationship between predators and prey. The predators obviously kill the prey, but if they kill too many, then there won't be enough food to sustain their population size and their population size will decrease. But when it decreases, that allows the prey to repopulate and their population gets a bit bigger again. And then that gives more food for the predators and then they can uh, increase in number again, but then that will cause the prey to decrease. So there's this nice relationship between predators and prey.